Here are some of my favorite apps as a student on my Tab S6 Lite. Of course, these apps are available on other Android tablets as well, and perhaps on your iPads, but you'll have to check. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to see why I'm wearing sunglasses. It's quite sad. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's get right into the video. First of all, I think one of the most essential parts of being productive is being able to plan your day. And I don't think there's any better way to plan your day than by using a calendar. Now, I know a lot of people already have calendars on their smartphones and on their tablets, but the calendar app I would love to recommend to you is Google Calendar. Now, what makes Google Calendar special is the fact that it allows you to create and edit events in the past, present, and even your future events. You can color code your events. So if you want someone's birthday to be red, you can make it red or yellow or green or whatever you want it to do. As you can see here, I have a lot of people to wish happy birthday this month. So yeah, that is something that Google Calendar helps me to never forget. I'm also able to set notifications to remind me a day before or a couple of hours before the event, and I can get those notifications on my smartphone or on my smartwatch. So I'm never late for any meetings or anything like that. Google Calendars is very essential and it syncs across all of your devices that have the app installed and that are connected to your Google account. The next app I'd like to recommend is more geared towards the medical students here, and that is called MD Calc. Now, MD Calc is an application that basically has a database of all the disease activity scores and the criteria for diagnosing specific diseases. I know that sounds a bit uh, for the people who aren't medical students. So in simple words, this is basically a medical calculator. So what you do is you take the symptoms a patient has, put them in the application according to the severity of the symptoms, and it will give you what disease the patient is most likely suffering from. Now, definitely this is not 100% foolproof as you know, in medicine, a lot of things evolve and change, but it's very helpful for a student and it's very useful for studying. Now back to the more generalized productivity application. The next one I'd like to talk about is called Write on PDF. And as the name suggests, it's an app that basically just lets you write on your PDFs. I'm sure you're wondering, why do you need a dedicated app for that? You can probably just do it with Adobe Acrobat or something. But with those other apps, it's a bit finicky and you'd need to go into several menus to get this option. But with Write on PDF, as soon as you open the application, you pick which PDF you'd like to edit, go through it, you can read the PDF, you can write on it, you can highlight specific specific areas, you can draw, you can scribble. I find it very useful for studying, especially when most of your materials are electronic. And then when you save and you go back to that PDF, all of the changes that you made are still there. All the texts that you highlighted are still there. And it basically just makes studying on your tablet a much more easy experience. So if you're still watching at this point, then you are awesome. Leave a comment below with the word application and subscribe to the channel because I plan on making this a series. So you don't want to miss the next one that comes out. Now, the next app is a bit more medically inclined and that is called Amboss. Amboss is basically like a huge database of diseases and, you know, Know, ailments that could happen to people and it is put together in a way that will aid you in your studying or preparation for an exam. So when you download the application and you sign up, they will ask a couple of questions like what year you're in, what year you're going to graduate, what specialty you would like to study, if you're a student or a clinician and specific things like that. And with that information, they are able to put together materials to help you get to the goals that you have set for yourself. So if you're studying for an exam like the USMA or maybe the PLAB, then you would definitely like to use this application to study as there are a lot of useful materials here. Even in your day-to-day -day study, Amboss provides you with quick, easy to understand and detailed explanations for whatever you might be looking for. So as a medical student, you should definitely give Amboss a try. Next up is an application that is very fundamental to my productivity as a student, and I have talked about it time and time again. And this application is Samsung Note. Notes. Now, I know that there are a lot of other note taking variants out there like Good Notes, Evernotes, and so on and so forth, but I choose to stick with Samsung Notes because it is feature packed, it is very convenient, and it syncs across all my Samsung devices. So I can access the notes I took on my tablet, on my smartphone as well. 
I'm someone who loves to take a lot of handwritten notes, but I don't use pen and paper because you can only write so much in a particular book and then you'd have to take so many books around with you. Writing on your tablet, on the other hand, gives you access to a nearly infinite amount of notes that you have taken. I made an entire video talking about how I take notes on my tablet using Samsung Notes. In case you want to check that out, it will be in the end card at the end of the video. And the next app I'd like to talk about is one that has really helped boost my productivity ever since I started using it, and that is Notion. Now, I know a lot of you must have heard about Notion before, and it is basically a lot of different things in one. It could be your to-do list, it could be your task manager, it could be your calendar, or whatever you want it to be. It could just be a place where you go and write down your thoughts or write down notes or something like that, but it can also be so much more. Personally, I use Notion to write the scripts for my videos and plan out future videos that I would like to make. And a lot of YouTubers have custom Notion templates that they have set out their custom Notion workspace and they made them available for download. So Notion is very customizable and I would recommend anyone to download it and try it out. You can put covers for your notes and even these cute little emoji icons there as well, which is pretty fun to see actually. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on Notion or any of the other apps in the comment section right below the like button and please subscribe if you enjoyed enjoyed the video. And if you're still watching, then I will show you why I've worn shades through this entire video. And that is because I don't know if you can see this very well. Well, I have pink eye or conjunctivitis and it has been bothering me for a couple of days. It hurts, but uh, I have to keep pushing for you guys. So um, yeah, Hopefully I will feel better before the next video and I won't need to wear shades, but yeah. My name is Johannes, this is Tech PhD, and I'll see you in one of the videos showing on the screen, right around everywhere here. So yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.